Hello everyone, and welcome back to Heavy Rain. Today, something wonderful is going to happen to Ethan, and we'd like to invite you all along for the ride. Yeah, know, that was actually pretty good. That was quite good. That, At least I, I think that sounds something like you know what's about to happen. happen to Ethan. You, you said I don't, I don't like actually you know. know. I'm going to be really I, pissed off if like you're all misremembering here and we immediately cut to like the only female really... character in the game has a dream about going to McDonald's in lingerie or some bullshit. We're just, you know, it's just like Stanley Parable. He thinks he knows what's going to happen, <laughs> but he doesn't. He's so I sure, know actually. what eventually happens to Ethan. I just don't know if this is when it happened. So I'm assuming the it way is. we're talking about this is like a fucking true crime podcast. <laughs> I was so... about to say that, complete with the intro. Excuse me. Like Josh introed this like one of the better quality uh, hey. true crime podcasts. Oh. Better, but oh. still kind Sorry. of creepy. Didn't see you. Uh, what can like I do morally creepy. Future. Yeah, we'll just pivot spoiler warning into talking about random dead people. Okay. <laughs> you can just stop. <laughs> uh, this is how you get the oh, full dude, complete. The this is why it takes like 12 thing. hours to play this game. <laughs> FC. You gotta stand here for six hours. Then he eventually punches you. I like the shot. And then just tells you who crotch. the origami killer is. <laughs> I'd like to get Here's my punch card. Can I get a free card. donut? I like that expression he gave us, like inscrutable mechanic expression. Like, uh, this hey, is the guy's guy that I really fucked up. Guy, you are. That car's been there for so, two years. so this is the thing he found, long. right? We found this this card in the box. Just like you said. Yeah. Yes. And we, where did we get it's the box? Floor down. The service elevator is at the far end. It was waiting it was for in, us. Thanks. Yep. It was in the, 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 uh, the they so put a shoe box you. with a gun in a train station behind a metal detector. So we have the dual problem of how did the origami killer put it there in the first place and how did this fucking rube manage to smuggle it out? That's a good question. Yeah, it's something that was mentioned in the comments that we completely did not notice in the original one. It seems like the sort of thing that like we're supposed to like notice that it's actually like a really cool detail or like a, a clue to the real answer, but I don't actually I'm drawing a blank uh, there. Oh, uh, the controls got weird. There we go. So he said the car's been here for two years and he just like kept it around for that long? He just drove like, around every month or so to this, keep the battery going. Does this flat. guy just like have infinite space in his garage? <laughs> does he not care? Is he not gonna go like, yeah, now you owe me like $3,000 for keeping the car here for like two years, you idiot? This is a pretty large garage. Like with the elevator and shit. Yeah. Uh, I like the idea he's the only person who does anything here. Like he owns the whole thing and he's the only guy. Uh, it, if you'd like, um, listeners at home, there's a subreddit called No Sleep, and if you search garage, parking garage, there's a really good short story someone wrote about being lost in a parking garage and spooky things happening. No Sleep is definitely oh, the I... better Reddit horror story, or horror, uh... It's kind of the only one I do for horror stories. I don't really care for yeah, the... I like, the... um, Creepy Encounters, though, that's kind of fun. I, I, I host a I game to do thoughts. I host a I game every know. Halloween uh, that I print out cards for, like it's a real board game, but then throw it away because it's too mean to publish. Which is basically like you read off a two sentence horror story, and then everyone has to guess whether I found that one by sorting by top oh, for yeah. like a year or sorting by new. The only thing that's like. I think the thing that gets people the most is like the good ones that just got like passed over for all of the other ones. There's some like really short ones too that are quite good, but you wouldn't think that they'd be top rated. Yeah. Gotta check the one I like the idea that that he just doesn't bother searching this car and just drives it around for a while. <laughs> we were gonna kill standing ever around seen in my life. like Going, yeah. what the fuck? This is a nondescript black plastic car. 
I've so never in reality, wouldn't wouldn't you want to like grab the VIN and then do like a background check on the car now that you know physically what car it is? I mean, this is a game wherein the origami killer leaves clues for all the pe the parents of the kids that he steals and murders, and none of them have ever told the police about this, so... so Ethan has character trait. He has the one trait. He's a sad dad. And included in the portfolio of sad dad is not detective skills. The weird thing is, I actually feel like, in retrospect, I don't know if I can remember oh Ethan God, ever, like, car. appearing curious, <laughs> especially... <laughs> <laughs> or, like, inquisitive. Like, he almost seems like the perfect mark for this kind of thing. <laughs> this was pre, like, crime, true crime podcast, too. Like, I yeah. feel like society as a whole were a lot more well-informed about, like, what to do and not to do should you encounter a serial killer. Somebody asked me, like, why had serial killers become so much less common since, like, the 70s and 80s, and, like, I had a few boilerplate answers, but I think, like, the, the actual answer I kind of just stand by the most is people learned that, like, the creepy dude who lives next door who's, like, always going out covered in blood and digging up holes in his garage, like, probably is a serial killer and not just, I don't know, next door. running a KFC franchise from his garage. Next door is the reason why we don't have serial killers anymore. If you, if you subscribe to Next Door, you will see posts about things that don't even make sense. And it's just oh people god, being nosy. I can do it. I'd do anything to save myself. Oh my god, that was bad. I can't stop my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. I'm, I'm not going to make it. Oh, they just put this I hand don't want to die. Not here. Not like this. So this is just a panic attack, right? If I succeed, I'll get more letters from yeah. him. Well, it's my own he was just no told back now. to save Sean. He has to drive against traffic on a fucking Pennsylvania highway for five miles, which, let me tell you, is a bad idea. This is a pretty, like, cool fucked up idea. Like, a lot it's of a thriller is just I've coming up with cool fucked people. up ideas what that, like... The right to play God? Give you a good son. seed to make in a game. This is this is actually one of the point. good ones. Let's go get a bagel. This is why I was surprised Saw was never a very good video game. Five miles. Am I willing to take that yeah. risk in order to save my son? We brought that up before, didn't we? Yeah. We this is really all video over game. the place. I've got to do it for Sean's sake. I have no choice. I have no choice. So. So this is the minigame where I play crazy tasks now, right? Uh... We have fans from France, so I've decided to not do my funny French accent. <laughs> which is very funny. Make fun of American accents. It. It's not the same. Just like... Can you do it on a day that's not horrible and raining? You have the next five minutes. Have you ever seen whatever. a guy do this before, by the way? Any of you? Like driving around seen traffic? I've videos of it. Yeah, for a while. Yeah, I, I, I have. Oh, I had to hold uh, I have accidentally gone the wrong way down a one-way street. <gasps> Fortunately, like, it was actually kind of like an action movie beat where like I was driving and I suddenly saw like a wave of oncoming cars and I was able to like swerve into an alley in time. Whoa. Yeah, it was pretty oh, bad. Oh no, we're here to murder the construction workers. This is not funny. My dad is a construction worker. Please, listeners at home, fucking be careful. It's my dad Wait, out is there. That a, was that a robot construction worker? Just like... It was yes. a We've never seen have anything those, like that before. Those, those we have those? Exist. No. Never in my entire life. Never once in my life have I seen anything like that. No, it's always just my dad out there being like, watch out, please. Doing the robot. I like Why couldn't they use the How did the that car best... know to go in reverse? <laughs> Why couldn't they have used the best and most responsive driving mechanics? Oh, the ones on, used for on. the street racing in Yakuza 5. I, I want to point something out. The car was at a toll booth, slammed into reverse into two cops because he saw a car coming 
down the road several hundred yards away. And I just, I'm trying to picture a situation where anyone would go reverse into two cop cars at a toll booth. Josh, I, throw the blue shell. There you go. You got it. Also, yeah, I, like yeah, how that, it. I like how that cop was like, what's safer than one car going the wrong way down the street? Oh, one car going the wrong way down the street and several cop cars taking from? up every other lane. Oh my god, that's kind of, it was like spit out my tea. Don't do that ever again. Oops. So, uh, now... This is really stupid, because now all the cops are going to be looking for the origami killer, because it's his goddamn car! Please press the, <laughs> the fucking GPS destination region. Please press the screen. Sick. Wipeout, dipshit. <laughs> I just gave your kid a pixie stick, because that was so dope. God, now I'm picturing Saw with a GPS voice instead of the I have a game for you voice. It's basically just 999. It's up, you're upside down. The key is inside the GPS. Or the other one. I, uh, I do like the creepy detail of like the GPS voice giving the, the next instruction. What came out first, 999 or this game? I want to say this game, but maybe 999. They're, they're very similar time frames, right? Let me. This is a little clever having all the buttons upside down. Oops. What's 999? Dude, nine what hours the, uh, later, doors. Get it, get it, get it. It's a DS game, it's really good. But yeah, that came out uh, on, in 2009, so that came out first. Ooh, dude. It's one of the best games out there. And there's some sequels that my brother, for example, really loves. But to me, 999 is the best one. I wish it was on, like, Steam. Well, they're putting Danganronpa on um, Switch. So maybe they'll do Zero Escape. I know that they're not really connected, but in my brain they occupy the same space. Zero Escape is already on Steam, it looks like. Zero Escape is, but 999 isn't? That's weird. It's the Nonary games, is that not... That's not Zero Escape, that's not 999. No, they're the no. same thing. It's the same series. So that was pretty cool. Okay, no, okay, yes, it is. It is those games, but they're packaged together as the nonary games. Okay, oh, they fuck are. Yeah. Get it. Okay. Stop watching this terrible video. Go fucking play <laughs> Zero Escape. Oh, it's like the old shitty cell phone. I, miss my I like the idea theory. that it's just Sean's dead, and it's like I really didn't expect you to like actually do that. But I mean, okay, whatever. Grand Theft Auto Wait, rules for upside down cars. Isn't it convenient that we managed to destroy the car entirely, so there's nothing pointing to us specifically? Where are all the cop cars? There's nothing pointing to Ethan at all. It, he was driving wow. someone else's car. Right. I know, but I they could have gotten, like, you know, fingerprints or some shit, but now the I, car has exploded. I guess all the cops, like, piled up. Huh. Yeah, they put up a barricade, like, 15 seconds after they got news that he was coming in the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You've unlocked a Are new we doing bonus? It? Are we, Are we having it? sexy dreams about going to McDonald's and laundry? Is that happening? I think that this is the chapter where basically nothing happens. Ev nothing happened last time. Yeah, you drove a well, car okay. wrong way up. The nothing happens. But less nothing happens, but we're wearing clothes this time. Yeah, oh, this good. one nothing happens, and Mumbles doesn't have an aneurysm, so. We can't sleep in our gigantic loft. We can only sleep in these ra this random, dirty motel in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Give me that sweet Philly motel. In an effort to say something positive, I, I do like the rainy city aesthetic. Like, I know it's basically just ripping off Seven, and it very much oh, is, but it does look nice. now you like the rainy city aesthetic. Everyone always <laughs> well, complains about rainy fucking aesthetic in Dragon Age Inquisition. 
Oh, everyone's too shiny. Yeah, because they're wet. Cause I feel like you're projecting because I haven't said anything about Dragon <laughs> <Is that> Age. <laughs> is that why everyone's always wet in Dragon Age? <laughs> I'm just saying, true. I haven't said anything. No, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely... I just projecting. remembered I didn't come here to go up the stairs. I do remember uh, it looking like I just applied sunscreen to my character. Yeah, it does look like that a lot. I like that very brief actual third person behind the camera bit, or behind the shoulder. Jack guy just came out of the bathroom like an asshole. <laughs> My name yeah. is He's creepy. I'm, I'm getting weird pervy Stephen King vibe. It's, it's weird because oh, he embodies this perviness. It's like he's a first year theater yeah, student who was told, in this scene, you're a creepo and go. Just think of all of the work went into animating this creepo. <laughs> and to the actor, who was just like, David Cage is like, no, no, not sleazy enough, not sleazy enough. He's like, uh, woman! <laughs> We're not doing this scene until you can come out of that bathroom door and I know you didn't wash your hands. You need to sell me on that. I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, didn't the Last floor? What? Last floor. Thanks. Not third floor. Last floor. floor. <laughs> you know, people say that all the time. But there's, there is three floors, at least. No, it's the, the last one. You're in room 18, it's on Final Destination. <laughs> so, this is the... oh no, what? Okay, this is also weird French misunderstanding of Americanisms, because 106 is not on the second floor. No, it, it is, is not. The... So it I guess 201 could be on the last <laughs> floor <laughs> Look at because... that guy! <laughs> we just walked past, what the fuck was this deal? I like the really long license plate on that car that also doesn't scream American. Guy here just, just we're just gonna in, nitpick in every random thing. I feel like I oh no, there is stuff downstairs, never mind. Oh no, there, oh, there are is? ones downstairs. Well I was gonna say maybe this was the Wait, first well, what floor the fuck because the bottom was the the thing. Are they all 106? No, ah, damn it. Down the... Let's do it. Come on, Madison. Where's the... Oh, here we go. Okay. What? What are you trying to do? I'm what trying to see what the happening? labels are on the first floor ones. It's just gonna be uh... 06. Or maybe there's no rooms on the first floor. Oh. It's the is that diner. A first diner? Floor. Yeah. That <laughs> no, is no, a motel with zero. a diner. Zero zero two zero zero three. Oh this right, because in Europe, like zero is the first floor and one is the second floor. Right. Oh my god, it's weird how I missed all this shit the <laughs> first time I saw it. That's why he didn't say third floor. Because so is it weird that this doesn't? Floor. Oh. Oh my god, you're no. right. No. Well, I was just—is it weird that it doesn't bother me that much? Because I'm a computer scientist, so starting counting at zero doesn't. Throw me off. Yes, it's no, weird. No, I'm just fucking around. I really don't care. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, He's having no. a sad. No. <laughs> no. No. Nope. Goodbye. We are checking out. Did you think that there is literally any chance nope. we would be getting involved in the story because of like something to do with our Damn character? It. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Hello, Josh, I'd like a go. different room. God fucking. I, I hate how, like, you see I the shot of Madison, like, you just see Madison, like, physically making, like, visual nope. contact with Ethan, and you're immediately like, fuck, they're gonna have sex. God damn it. That was not my response. I just didn't want to get involved in his sad story. <laughs> if you push not, him off the railing, can he die from this height? All right? Oh. Yes. Absolutely. Probably. Nice. I'll call an ambulance. I'll call an ambulance. No pushes him over the edge. You're bad. Uh, you need a doctor. Maybe I'm a bad person. Please. But if I saw some dude, like, oh, uh, 
I would not be like, I'm gonna help you. We should call an ambulance. I'd be like, I'm going to my fucking room. <laughs> no, I'll I see would, you later. like, yeah, like, if I asked that person, do you need help? I would not first, like, approach them and, like, get up in their personal space, like, do you require assistance? Yeah. Yes. God damn it. I would maybe say, hey, you okay, pal? And if the answer is don't call an ambulance, then I'll be like, okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, wow. Not my pay grade. Holy shit, no. <laughs> Goodbye. 